Hey everybody, uh, Mike Sirik here. Um, today I'm going to be presenting on my project, which was on Thomas Paine. Um, so I think we all know Thomas Paine, uh, at least cursory, from uh, his work with Common Sense. Uh, it is one of the most influential pieces of political writing in American history. Um, but I think beyond that, he largely gets overlooked by many, uh, many people. Uh, um, now, um, for those who aren't familiar, um, Common Sense was um, like a, a pretty much a mobilization of um, American resources against the British to to justify uh, through um, justify through the prevailing uh, thought of society on why America should go and fight against the British uh, in the American Revolution or the British Civil War, depending on how um, how you look at it. Um, kind of defining factors of that was the role of monarchy, um, the, the lack of justification for hereditary monarchy, um, and uh, just the overall reason of the, the British government was not, um, uh, British government was not uh, upholding the, the natural rights and the, the, uh, the natural uh, order of what a government should be. Uh, it wasn't really protecting its people. Uh, it wasn't really representing the people. Um, and thus, common sense was born. Um, now, Payne also had two other very, very notable pamphlets that came out after the revolution. Um, these pamphlets were The Age of Reason, and the rights of man. Now, the rights of man um, was pretty much a, a treatise um, concerning his uh, ideological differences with Edward Burke, uh, somebody that I went into uh, a little bit of detail describing about. Uh, they're pretty much the exact opposites of each other at this time. Uh, Burke was a very conservative person. Uh, Payne was a very liberal person uh, in forward thinking. Um, and although both of them supported the revolution, that was about as far as Burke went. That's kind of where he stopped. Um, he was really more traditional at that point, um, really more of a Puritan thinker. Now, his uh, his last major um, pamphlet that he made, um, which was The Age of Reason, um, is pretty much why most people don't remember Thomas Paine. Um, he goes into there uh, uh, giving uh, reasonable justifications or rational justifications for uh, uh Discounting theism uh, in in whole, um, it's it's a major reason why most people think that Thomas Paine was a an atheist most of his life, um, or at least a deist. And um, a funny story: uh, he he grew up as a Quaker, uh, or he grew up as an Anglican. Uh, his dad was a Quaker, so he actually wound up going to Quaker uh, services a lot when he was a younger child down in England. And um, he wished to be buried in a Quaker. Um, in a Quaker cemetery, a lot of his views actually mirror that of the Quakers, um, but he was denied um, because of his uh, dispositions that he forwarded in um, the Age of Reason. Um, they didn't want somebody who was a non-believer in their uh, cemetery or in their church cemetery. Um, standing beyond that, though, um, Payne really did have a political influence. Um, most of the American generals really did like him. Uh, especially for his work with Common Sense when they found out who he was. And uh, beyond the war, um, when it was proven that uh, Common Sense was a very effective way to mobilize American citizens against the British um, and give that justification, uh, they attempted to try to give him some type of a payback because he never actually made any money off of Common Sense. He wanted all the profits to go to the military um, and the war effort. Um, and people such as Jefferson, uh, Washington, Franklin uh, kept in close contact with Payne most of the rest of his life um, as he even wound up going to France uh, after the French Revolution to try to establish the first set of demo uh, democracy in France. Um, he did have an influence, uh, not quite as great as I was expecting when I first went into the project, uh, but definitely one that... Uh, kind of mirrors more of today's society. Um, he was kind of a, uh, a, a forward-thinking, bleeding-edge type of influencer on the politics of America. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and great rest of your term.